Hey everyone, it's Misty, and I want to welcome you to another episode of our Creative Weekly Wisdom. Today I'm going to show you how to create some gift card holder inserts, and by that I mean where you can make these little inserts for your cards, for gift cards that go in just like this, and then you can adhere these to um, cards or anything that you're creating. And then I'm also going to show you how to create the same thing but with a um, in the shape of a mason jar. So we're going to start off with some craft cardstock. You use any cardstock you want, especially um, you can make it to match whatever it is that you're putting it in. Um, for today's purposes, I'm not going to show you a finished product, just how to use this. So I'm going to start off with this small insert here, and this is going to be using. Um, a four inch by uh, four and a half. So what we're going to start with is our scoreboard. And what I like to do is find the halfway point between your paper. So if you wanted to make this longer, you could. It just depends on your preferences. So we're going to go and remember, we're going to put this in to where it is four inches. We're we'll score it halfway at the two inch mark. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to go one and a quarter inch from this center line. So your second score is going to be at three quarters. And then from the two inch going up, your next one is going to be at three and a quarter. Okay, so here you can adjust it depending on how big you want the part, how tall you want the part that your card goes into. And that is these two right here. So if you wanted it to be bigger than one and a quarter, then you could go to one and a half and you can see how this is getting bigger and also that's why you would make your cardstock larger so a good rule for this is you start at the halfway point of this length of your paper and then you can decide what you want these two so if you're going to follow my guidelines here for this particular one I'm creating just make sure you use the measurements that I'm using and they will be popped up here on the screen for you as well and down in the description box below okay so we have this, now we're going ahead and going to fold it and burnish it. So we're just going to fold this forward, flip it around, fold it forward again, and then this center here, you're just going to fold it in half so that you kind of have peaks and valleys. And then we're just going to go ahead and take our bone folder and then burnish this so it's nice and tight and flat. Now these flaps here, you can make them thinner if you want just by making your paper shorter. But I think this is a nice decent size to go into any type of card or anything else that you're doing. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is an envelope punch board. I told you guys I love this thing. I've been finding so many different ways to use it. So we are now going to create the opening for our gift card. So you're just going to slide this in to the one inch mark and then you're going to punch. Make sure that you have it folded in half when you do this part. And then you're just going to flip it over, go to the one inch mark and punch. Then you're just going to take your scissors. Now you do want to be careful when you're using this that if you're using a really thick cardstock you cannot do this part with the punch board because it's going to be too thick once you fold it in half. But craft card stock is really good or general weight um, design paper is good. You can use thin design paper but it may not be strong enough to keep a gift card inside of it. So I'm going to take the scissors and we're just going to go in to that little valley right there, right into the center of it. And then we're just going to cut right into the other side into that valley. And then there you have it. 
So I would take some nice strong adhesive. Um, I like the double-sided tape. Works really nice for this. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put it on the edge right here. There's no need to put a ton of tape on this. It holds really well. And then you're going to do the same to the other side. And then while I have the tape out, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my two flaps here that we will be attaching to the card. And again, you can do this a lot, a little, it, it's up to you really. So I'm just going to kind of go in the center area right now. And if you really wanted to, you could cut these down when you were all done. If you didn't like how wide they were, depending on what you're putting it in. So now we're just going to go ahead and remove the backing. And I'm going to go ahead, and then all you have to do is just fold it together. Make sure it's nice and flush the way that you scored it. And then you can see it's going to be kind of a tight fit at first, but your gift card will slide right in there. There you have it. Now like I said, if you wanted your gift card not to stick out as far, you would just make your paper wider. But I think this is a good size. It's not going to fall out. It's pretty tight, so it's not going to just slide out easily. So now we're going to go ahead and put this into our card. This size works really good for an A2 card. Now before you do this step, you would want to have your card completely decorated. So if I had the inside, if I had stuff on here, I would decorate it. Now, you're just going to line up this center area with your card, or you can fold it like this. I find this to be a little bit easier. Oh, okay. You're just going to want to line that up on one side, and then close your card, and it will line up on the other side. And then when you open it, you will have your gift card inside. It will just pop up. Now, if you were using different colored cardstock like I am, you could very easily put a mat down inside to cover this little flaps to make it look more cohesive. But you have your card, and it, it does become a little bit bulky. So just be aware of that. You might not like that. And then you have your gift card on the inside. So I, I thought that was really neat and cute, and I like that. Okay, this one is really fun and different. Now, if you tuned in um, a couple episodes ago when I showed you how to do a mason jar with your punch board, we're going to turn that mason jar into a gift card holder. I had promised you guys that in the past that I had something unique to show you. Okay, so for our next gift card holder, we are going to create a mason jar that also has a gift card holder in the center of it. And it's all going to be one cohesive piece. So you're going to need a 11 by three and a half piece of craft card stock. And we are going to score in the halfway point of 11, which is five and a half. That'll be our first score mark. Then we're going to go one inch and a half or inch and a quarter down from that score mark and that will get you at four and a quarter. So we're going to go ahead and score there. And then I'm going to flip it over and you can do this with any size scoreboard. Just flip it over. I think it's a lot easier that way. You don't have to remember a ton of numbers. So then we're also going to go ahead and do four and a quarter again. I just thought that was much faster than trying to figure out another measurement. Okay, so you have, it's going to be the same width as we did in our last one. Except for, instead of having flaps, this part here is going to be our mason jar. And our gift card will go the other direction. Okay, so just like we did on the other one, you're going to fold that forward, turn it around, fold it again, and then we are just going to 
push that center area up so then we have our peak and our valleys. Okay, so make sure that you burnish your edges. And then again. Now this is where it becomes very different than our last one. So first, we're gonna make the bottom part of our mason jar. And I'm going to use my corner chomper because I want it to be a half inch round at the bottom. If you don't mind the quarter inch, you can easily just use the back of your scoreboard because it this only does a quarter of an inch round. And you can do two thickness in there. So I'm gonna do the half inch though. So remember, we're not gonna do this center area. So make sure when you're folding, you're folding to those outer creases. And I'm just gonna stick it in and chomp it and chomp it again and then we're just going to fold that outer area and we're going to do the corners and then when it is all closed you can see you have the bottom of the mason jar okay the next thing you're going to need is your envelope punch board again and this is going to be creating just your mason jar top and the same thing as we did in our um, last time we created our mason jars, you're going to go ahead and line this up to this little notch right here. And then you're going to punch. You're gonna flip it over, line that up, and punch. And then you're also going to do that on the other side. You're going to line that up punch. Line it up and punch. And if you really wanted to, um, you could try and do them together. But I think if you're lining it up, you should be fine. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the tops, cut these little flaps off here. We're just going to go into that valley and then cut straight up from there. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. And there you have it. Go ahead and zoom back out for you. And then we have this cute little jar. We're going to go ahead and line this up to the one inch mark and punch. And then we're going to flip it over, line that up to the one inch mark, and punch. And then we're going to cut out the center area. And then now, you just want to test it, make sure that it, it's the good, a good size, which it is. It's got plenty of room on either side. It's not quite as snug as our other one. If you wanted to make your mason jar a little thinner, so it's a little bit more snug, you can do that. But it'll be snug once we put the adhesive on here. So just like we did with the last one, you're gonna take your adhesive and you're gonna run it down on this side. You're gonna take your adhesive, run it down on this side. And then we'll go ahead and remove backing and then just fold it closed okay once we fold it closed it will get a little bit snugger and then you have your mason jar gift holder gift card holder so you can decorate this you can do this with um, design paper this would be a lot prettier if you had design card stock and then if you wanted to if you were afraid this was going to move around or fall out you could put a little glue dot on the back of this if you wanted to or what I would um, suggest doing and I just wanted to show you this that this bottom area is not adhered down 
So if you wanted to, to prevent this from falling through, it's just stick a tiny little bit of adhesive back there. So what I am going to do is just take a little piece of this. I'm not going to do the entire side. It's not necessary. Plus, um, just remember, wherever you put the adhesive, your card won't go down as far. That's my only issue with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then remove the backing. But now your card won't go down as far. So you could make this a little wider or a little taller and then or add like a really thin glue down there, like some kind of liquid glue. Would work. And then when it's open. And this could even be a really cute um, card shape too, if you wanted to. Just write your info and make it like a card. So I, I hope you enjoyed the two different ways to do your little um, inserts for your gift cards. And I hope you can use these during the holidays. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And I will see you guys on our next episode. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.